Hi, I'm Megan from Nocturnal, and today we are at the AB in Glebe having a chat to Apsai. Welcome to the show, guys. Hey, thank, thank you. you. Now, Apsai, what do applied science, that's what it stands for? How did you come up with the name? Basically, we were trying to come up with a name for a while when we started writing songs together a couple of years ago. And uh, at the time, it was a time in hip hop where everyone had science in their name, and we were just into. Um, the idea of applying ideas. We knew a lot of people in that scene who would talk big but wouldn't execute. So the idea of applied science is really just kind of following through. You know what I mean? That's right, yeah. Now, you have a background in sort of indie punk rock and you're a classical singer. Is Well, sort of backgrounds in that. Now, you guys met, because you're from New York, and you're from Australia, but you met in, in NY 98? Well, I went over with a group called Meta Bass and Breath, and there's also MC Trey, she's an Australian female hip hop artist. Um, so we all went as a, as a crew, and we were playing Baby Jupiter and all these clubs in downtown LES. Um, and I met Raphael because we had mutual friends from Meta Bass and Breath. So it was actually crazy. He was really a mutual friend, you know, mutual friends thing. When I've been listening to your music, it's not actually. I wouldn't actually define it as hip hop, like you have different genres. I think we always felt like we were two people who had, you know, like a lot of different things going on as far as the music we were involved in, but we met in the hip hop scene in New York. We were going to Rocksteady reunions and the New York and Poets Cafe and open mics and stuff, even street cypher. Cyphers are like people beatboxing and rhyming spontaneously on the street and that happened in New York a lot and that's how I met Donna but she can sing opera, you know what I mean? And she, you know, like she's, she's been in theater production, she's done martial arts. I've played bass guitar in a punk rock band. So it, it's, we just wanna be true to our influences and true to everything that we've experienced. You've had two albums come up now. So you've got, a, you've got a new album coming out soon? Yeah, we've got a new album um, recorded and ready to go. Uh, it's coming out this summer in Australia. And um, we've got a few uh, music videos that are near completion. They'll be ready uh, by this summer. Um, but yeah, I mean, I see us as like a, a kind of an alternative pop group almost, you know, like it, it all falls under the same umbrella. When you listen to the album, it doesn't sound like a bunch of different styles from a bunch of different groups, but we're happy to go into more electro punk, we're happy to go into more kind of pop music or, or, or uh, hip hop, you know, it all kind of blends together. This year you went, did quite a bit of touring. We spend a lot of time abroad, we do shows in New York, we do shows, um, we, we've played over in Europe a fair bit. Um, this year we just played South by Southwest, um, which is a music festival in Austin. There are like 900 bands playing. Um, and we were one of How is that? It was crazy. I mean, it's over a course of about four days. Yeah. Um, How many people go to those types of events? Austin's crammed. I mean, I, I can't even... They I shut mean, down the city. It, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, it becomes... The city becomes the music festival. So thousands and thousands of people walking around every day. And there are clubs starting from noon through to 3 a.m., 4 a.m. in the morning, five days. It's it's crazy. And there are about 20 clubs through town that have just got bands playing constantly. Wow. Who else have you collaborated with? M Mr. Liff out of uh, Def Jux, um, out of New York, Definitive Jux. Um, Tunde of TV on the radio. Um, they're, they're like a rock group that are doing really well right now. They're on Interscope. Um, uh, for the last record we worked with, the, um, those guys and also Pigeon John, uh, who signed to Quantum Projects, um, Martin Perna of Antibalas, which is an Afrobeat group, they used to work with Ninja Tune. The new album, actually we haven't collaborated with, with anybody. Uh, we really wanted the new record to just be about the songs. Oh, that's really great. So this is the first time you're doing the entire album by yourselves? Completely. I mean, we've... What's that like? It's actually really refreshing because it's purely our creative ideas and for me, because I'm a vocalist, for me I can go so many places but also tying it in to keep it a consistent sound. Um, but not collaborating is actually really refreshing this time around. Yeah, I mean I think for our album we just wanted to just write songs, yeah. you know, and just do it in a way that we could reproduce everything live. Like it's just me and Donna on stage and we're, we can we can execute everything. The new single, what's it called? What, so we can wait to check it out? Uh, the first single uh, is, is Under Control and uh, we're gonna follow up with uh, Crazy Crazy Insane. Okay, cool.
cool. So we, we're sort of going to be looking out for that next. So uh, anyway, well, listen, we want to get you guys back on the show because you don't have any gigs coming up. Um, so we'll get you back on when you start touring again and then we can sort of get you on the road and get some more, maybe maybe even get your single first single on. So that would be good. So thank you very much for meeting with us today. Um, and I hope you enjoy being on the show. Thank you for listening, everybody. And um, up next, check it, check it out. All right, see ya.